Could the Pittsburgh Steelers be eyeing up a cornerback to select in round one of the 2024 NFL Draft? I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility. Welcome back to Mike Drop Sports here on a Friday. Again, guys, welcome. I appreciate you. Let's talk about this. This is what I wanted to deliver for you today. Are the Pittsburgh Steelers really serious about eyeing up a cornerback in round one? And I got to say, I think the answer is yes. I think the Pittsburgh Steelers are really doing their due diligence. They've met with many cornerbacks throughout this pre-draft process. Uh, they have Cooper DeGene scheduled to come in. I have them in my mock draft taking him at number 20 overall. Cooper DeGene, Iowa cornerback. I think some have him ranked pretty high up on their cornerback list uh, in terms of ratings, you know, ranking each guy at the cornerback prospect spot. Uh, but I think that Cooper DeGene is a guy that the Pittsburgh Steelers would really be interested in, a guy that can make some splash plays. I know that everybody really has their heart set on tackle, center, uh, wide receiver, but I think the Pittsburgh Steelers really realize where their defense is right now. And that adding another stud corner like you did last year with Joey Porter Jr. could really, really spell big, big, big things for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And I really think that they would really be comfortable having two guys locking down the edges of that defense in the pass game. I really, really think that that would be special in a pass-happy league. You can never have too many cornerbacks. And I think the Pittsburgh Steelers have definitely done their due diligence. But there are guys out there other than Cooper DeGene. I think he's a splash playmaker. Uh, I think that he has that excitement level whenever you turn on his tape. A guy that uh, you would really love to see play in the back end of your defense. And he could play safety. Uh, he could be versatile. He could be that Swiss Army knife that you're looking for and really provide the Steelers with some solid, solid depth and a, a real solid piece at the cornerback, uh, possibly at the safety. Wherever you put him, I think he's going to shine and really be able to uh, make some big moves. But you're looking at, you know, four or five guys that are really high-end talents here at the cornerback position uh, that are probably going to be first-round picks, maybe six. Uh, you look at a Cooper DeGene, you look at a Quinion Mitchell, you look at a Terion Arnold, uh, you look at a Nate Wiggins, you look at a Kool-Aid McKinstry, uh, you look at a TJ Tampa from Iowa, uh, I believe Iowa or Iowa State, where's TJ from Iowa State, yeah. So these guys could still be there if the Steelers even may uh, pick the draft back or uh, trade back in the NFL draft, which to gain themselves some more draft capital, which I wouldn't hate. I would really like because I think there's a lot of quality talent that you can get inside round two and rounds three. And I think if you're the Pittsburgh Steelers loading up in two and three, it would be really, really cool. And I think it would pay big dividends also. Uh, but if you're looking at these guys, where would you go if you were at pick 20? I would say that you have to be looking at at least a Cooper DeGene, uh, a Nate Wiggins, um, maybe even a Terry on Arnold. Uh, Terry on Arnold, in my eyes, maybe not the most polished guy in this draft at the cornerback position. But nonetheless, I think his ceiling is still really, really high. And I think that he could still do a lot of special things. Uh, at the next level, and I think he will translate to be a uh, starter in his rookie season eventually, uh, if not in his second year full-time starter, but I think he will see a lot of play time in his rookie year, and uh, I think he's a phenomenal athlete with high athleticism. Uh, you look at Nate Wiggins out of Clemson, I think if he's there, it's going to be tough to pass on him at 22. Uh, also, not 22, pick number 20 also, uh, it'd be tough. Uh, he has all the tools, guys. Uh, he has a really high ceiling also. His athleticism is off the charts. Uh, Ultra-high competitor. Uh, you couldn't go wrong if you draft the cornerback from Clemson and Nate Wiggins. I think that he could be a really, really big-time prospect for the Steelers or anybody who gets him. And I don't look for him to make it out of the top 25 either. Then you look at Quinion Mitchell. Many have him ranked as the best cornerback in the whole draft. Um, a guy that just has all the intangibles, all the tools, everything you're looking for when you're looking at a cornerback. Um, 
his abilities are just translating to me to be a week one uh, starting cornerback in the NFL. And like I said, it would be 1-1-A one, one type deal. If you're looking at Joey Porter and you look at one of these guys that you could possibly potentially draft, uh, it would definitely be uh, really, really cool to see those two or any of these guys matched up with Joey Porter Jr. Uh, then you look at guys that are a little bit less down the list, maybe like a Kool-Aid McKinstry. Um, he can play in any type of scheme in my eyes. Uh, I think he is a first-round talent also. I think he has a very high ceiling. And then you look at the Iowa State's TJ Tampa, um, a guy that he could be, you know, uh, maybe an early second round pick, I think. I think that uh, he definitely has the chance to go there. Uh, definitely probably a top 50, probably in my eyes, I think he'll go. Uh, I wouldn't say that he makes it up out of there. Uh, I think he needs to clean up maybe a little bit of his footwork in terms of coming in and out of breaks. Uh, I think he could definitely be a strong starter, though. He has a very high ceiling also, and I think that he will eventually translate into uh, a top-shelf starting cornerback in the N or in the NFL uh, come the end of the 2024 season or the 2025 season after he gets his feet underneath him and maybe gets coached up a little bit. But the Pittsburgh Steelers, bringing in Cooper DeGene on a pre-draft visit, it's just showing you a little bit of what the Pittsburgh Steelers are really looking at here and that they are really open to the idea of getting a guy like Cooper DeGene or getting a cornerback. They've met with several and it really tells me that they are truly interested and that the first round isn't off limits for that position. And if a guy falls to them that they really, really like, that they have valued really high at that position, I got to say, guys, they're going to probably pick them. And I know there are holes. I understand that. And I think center has to be a priority at some point in the draft. But I still think you could get a quality swing tackle type guy a little bit later in the draft, maybe round three. You know, I think there are still going to be guys that you could pick up that could contribute. You know, don't forget you still have Dan Moore Jr. You still have guys on the roster that can move around a little bit and Spencer Anderson who really didn't get anything last year in terms of reps or anything like that. Uh, but they had high hopes for him. Uh, you have a Dylan Cook brought in. Uh, you still have options there. So maybe getting a tackle might not be the of the utmost importance for the Pittsburgh Steelers. You still have a stud in Broderick Jones. So maybe they focus on getting a guy like a cornerback, um, looking for wide receivers somewhere, uh, anywhere. It's just... You know, the Steelers really have to pay attention to what's out there and available and let this draft fall to them, guys. Don't reach for anybody. Just wait for it to come to you. You have positional needs. Take care of those positional needs as you can, but don't reach for them. Make sure you play your draft board, and I said that on the live show too. Make sure you let the draft board come to you and you don't play into anybody else's game. You allow everybody else to make the tough, fast, shoot-from-the-hip type decisions. You are picking a 20. You have the luxury of allowing this draft to come to you and watching how this board starts to play out and really looking at the value of the picks that are there. Uh, so that's really what I wanted to talk about today. Today's a Friday. It won't be a terribly long episode here. We're about to wrap it up. But I also want to remind you guys, you still have time to get you still have time to get entered into the giveaway. And that is uh, for 99 cents a month here uh, to become a Mike Drop Mafia member. So make sure that you uh, do that. You still have a chance to get involved in that. Um, also, uh, that'll be drawn tonight. We will be giving away our uh, piece of Steelers memorabilia, a picture of James Harrison. And then next month's giveaway is going to be an exciting one. So make sure you want to be a part of the Mike Drop Mafia to have the chance to get in those giveaways that happen every month. So tonight we're giving that away. We're pulling the, uh, we're pulling the name out of the hat here. And then uh, we'll get it uh, all shipped out to you free of charge. So uh, it's just our thank you for being a Mike Drop Mafia member. Get you involved. Uh, so make sure you do that. Don't forget to like the video, share the videos. It uh, really helps us, and it really uh, helps support us as we move through here and uh, continue to build our channel. Liking, sharing, uh, commenting, all those things, and you guys do a fantastic job. Also, before the end of this week,
weekend. Let's hit that 3,000 subscriber mark. We're almost there. Uh, let's continue to do that. So make sure you hit subscribe also. We are almost there, guys. So uh, just a couple hundred more and we are there, man. Uh, so let's do it. Um, and that's about it. That's about it. So don't forget our live show tonight at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, our giveaway will be tonight. We'll do it about 15, 20 minutes into the show. That way uh, we have people build up in the chat. And uh, that way people can see uh, that they won. And then I'll pin it in the comments after the show uh, to make sure that everybody can find out who the winner was. And uh, then you'll email me at mikedropsports at yahoo.com. And then I'll get it shipped out to you. All right, guys. So until t- tonight. Yeah, till tonight for Still City Live. I'm Jason. This is Mike Drop Sports. And uh, we'll see you then later on tonight. Peace.